is Ella and I'm the Plants Meow. And today I'm going to be doing another unboxing from Bogona Pot Plants. <laughs> so I know I've been buying from here excessively, but after my last unboxing, I just, I couldn't resist getting another one. Between all the plants I have unhauled recently, I have paid for these two unboxings. One plant itself paid for my last unboxing and the rest of them just paid for this one. But I just couldn't resist. But if you come from the last unboxing, um, behind me, these are the plants that I got. It was a really cool one where I got some really great plants for a great price. Okay, so this is the box that I got, which is funny because Paul ships them so compactly and Tropical Plant Supply sent me this gigantic box. So it's kind of interesting to see their methods because I look at this box and I think, I've ordered, how does, it, how does my order fit in here? But it does. <laughs> so let's see what has. Whoa. I do want to disclose that this is a semi-sponsored unboxing just because one of these plants are free and I will tell you which one that is as I'll let you know the prices of all the rest. Okay, so this first one is a Syngonium Pink Splash. And you can tell this is what it's supposed to look like in this leaf here. I'll take a look at the roots and see if it has rot, but it's in pretty bad shape as is. If it's savable, then I will save it. If it's completely rotted, then I will just toss it. At least it is the cheaper of all my plants. So bright side. I'm hoping the rest don't share a similar fate. <laughs> Okay, so this is my Magnificum Verde. So this one's obviously in a lot better shape than the last plant was. Looks like it lost the leaf here, but other than that, it doesn't look bad. So this one is actually $65. Oh, it actually looks like this leaf is torn off here. It's not even connected. It's a little sad, but <laughs> at least it's alive. <laughs> So this one feels really heavy. So this is actually the wide form of the Anthurium moroquianum. I think I finally learned how to say that, by the way. This one was $75. So it looks like this leaf here looks pretty bad. So I'll probably cut that one off. But the leaf that is actually cut, it looks pretty good. And there's actually a new leaf on the way. So I don't feel worried about this one. This one feels so hardy and thick. Like it felt so heavy when I was unboxing it. It's definitely like good stock. <laughs> I actually also have the Dark and Narrow Moroquiana on my list. So I'm hoping to get that one sometime soon as well. And I'm hoping I can actually find that one at the International Aeroid Show that I'm going to this week. <laughs> so you'll notice that there is a delay obviously on this video. It's posted a few weeks after that. If I, I might have already posted a video about the International Aeroid Show if I have, and you can go find out there if I actually got one or not. But yeah, her wide queen. That is so wide. Like she's big. This is the main reason that I pretty much ordered. This is actually an Anthurium clarinervium, but it is what they call the king form. So I'll post a picture here of what it's gonna look like as it 
grows up more, <laughs> essentially. It has a lot more striking veins than just a regular Clarinervium. It's probably just a natural variation. I don't actually think they're two different plants, so I'm glad this one uh, looks pretty good. That leaf looks great. So I'm pretty happy with this one, especially because this is the main reason for ordering this time around. I was really excited when I saw this one. I would see people post it and think, I want this Clarinervium, but I don't know what it's called. And actually he posted it. I was like, oh my God, it actually has a name. Like I didn't even think it had a name. That was pretty cool. And just my little input here. So people get a little bit butthurt when people like name the same plant, different things like Florida Ghost Mint, or obviously like King Clarinervium or you know, things like that. But honestly, if you want a particular plant and you want it to look a particular way, you wanna be able to call it something in order to get that particular plant. So there's no harm done in just calling it two different things, knowing it's the same plant. Like I have no problem with that. I don't know why people get so angry about that. Like just because, yes, they're all Florida ghosts, just as identifying marker, I wanted to make sure I had one of each one. I don't know why it's a big deal. <laughs> People get mad at that stuff. Like people, like same thing with the monsters. You know how they have mint and monster and all of that. People are just like, oh, it's the same plant. That's great. But if I want one that looks like the monster, I'm gonna look for one that's called monster. Like I don't, I don't really know. I don't understand. Okay. All right, next plant. Oh. My God, this is so pretty. This plant I toyed with always putting it on my wish list, but seeing it in person, it looks crazy cool. And if you put it up to a light, the white parts, they actually really stand out. So this is the Philodendron Birkin, and I can't tell you this price because this wonderful beauty here is actually my free plant. <laughs> This is so stunning. I can't wait to just clean this one up and have it in its pot and ready to show you. It's so big. I expected a very tiny one and this looks so cool. Like, oh my God. How stunning. If you have any doubts about this plant, I'm gonna tell you right now, don't. It's actually really beautiful. I don't know, like, I like, I question why I ever doubted it. <laughs> like, oh my God, the variegation, this is drop dead. Like, I love it. I love this so much. Thank you, Paul. Wow, this is, this is amazing. I am so impressed with this Birkin. And that was so incredibly generous of you to send me this plant. And thank you for picking out such a wonderful one. I know you really didn't have to. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> I absolutely adore it. So I really wanna thank you, Paul. I really appreciate the free plant here. It's unfortunate how the Syngonium came today, but honestly, it was the cheapest of the bunch and it seemed just more fragile. So I'm not too heartbroken over that. So that was kind of an impulse buy as well. <laughs> so I didn't, I wouldn't even know that one if I would really love it as much. So I was honestly, if I didn't, I was going to gift it to my mom. So <laughs> that was kind of it with that one. So the rest of them are perfectly fine. I'm really, really excited to clean these guys up and pop them. If you like this video, please give it a like. I would appreciate any feedback down below. And if you really like my content, please subscribe. I do put out a video every Wednesday and I would love to have you back. Thank you so much for watching.